Suppose on day one of your administration, the tariffs on China are still in place. What would China have to do to get them lifted? So, you know, the problem we've got right now is it, it, the president has no plan. So what's the, you have, you have a plan <laughs> on everything. I have a plan for So what is, the, uh, exactly what is the Elizabeth right. Warren plan? Well, part of it is to say we need an overall strategy on tariffs. How are we thinking about it? Trade is about tariffs, but it's not just about tariffs. In the 21st century, trade is about regulation as much as it's about anything else. What I want to see is I want to see a coherent plan for anybody who wants access to American markets. I want to ease up so that our farmers are not being squeezed like crazy like they are now and by then have already lost markets that are going to be really hard for them to regain. A third part of it that I think is important is we need to be working with our allies. We want to have a trade deal with China that is favorable to the U.S then let's not declare a trade war at the same time on Canada, on our other Asian allies, on our European allies. Let's get everybody to work together on this to try to get China to follow a reasonable set of rules on trade. But if China is hoping to wait out the Trump administration for a Warren administration, you wouldn't be willing to lift the tariffs on day one. So the, the point, we can't keep doing this as one-offs. That's the whole point. We need a coherent strategy, a strategy that works with our allies and a strategy that makes clear where our long-term interests lie in trade. I want to see trade occur, but I want to see trade occur in a way that is helpful to the American worker, that is helpful to the American consumer. I don't want to see what Donald Trump is doing. He's destroying markets. He's destroying value around the world. Would you tie Chinese human rights abuses potentially to a trade deal? I think that, again, working with our allies, we should be putting a lot of pressure on China, and part of that pressure should be diplomatic and part of it should be economic. We need to use all the tools all in right. the toolbox here.